manage data, as well as to incorporate that data into your tasks and projects wherever you need to. You may be aware that an integration with Asana isn't brand new for JotForm. Uh, for a while now, we have had an integration in place where you can seamlessly push data from JotForm to Asana by integrating individual forms. So for example, if you have a contact form on your website and you're using JotForm for that form, and you wanna make sure that somebody from your team reaches out every time somebody fills out the contact form, you can set up the integration to automatically add each new form submission as an Asana task, seamlessly assigning it to the proper workplace, team, or project. I will be showing that piece of our integration today, but I also wanna highlight what is new, which is that you can now integrate JotForm forms directly into Asana projects and tasks without ever having to leave Asana. From here, you can not only uh, add forms, but you can assign them and also track progress on the form, making it easy to track this all in one place. And that place is uh, the place where you're likely already doing your task management, which is Asana. We are especially excited about this integration for a number of reasons. First, it really rounds out the picture of what you can do with these two platforms together. So it's no longer about just sharing data from JotForm to Asana, but now in addition to that, you have the opportunity to pull in task management uh, with JotForm into Asana. Also, this is the first time we've had an integration like this where you can actually use JotForm without ever having to leave the integration partner site. And this creates such a seamless integrated workflow that we uh, that really takes advantage of both of these tools. And we really hope that it paves the way for other exciting new integrations along these lines down the road. All right, so with all of that said, I am going to jump out into our demo at this point. And give me a second here. All right, so I'm actually gonna start in Asana today. Uh, what you're seeing here is a little bit of a peek behind the curtain. This is my actual webinar management board in Asana. Uh, so I like to use Asana for webinars for a number of reasons, but the two biggest ones for me are that it makes it super easy to create subtasks and track everything as I go. So especially for my more complicated webinars or uh, when I'm planning several webinars at once, I have all of my subtasks in here can check things off and um, not have to worry about tracking things in a number of different places. The other thing is, even though I'm really the only person managing this particular board, uh, it is a collaborative element in a sense that my colleagues can look at this anytime they need information about webinars. So this is a, um, you know, in our JotForm workspace, rather than contacting me for an update and waiting for me to respond, any of my colleagues can hop in here and see where things are in the process. My process for webinars here is that once, once I start planning a webinar, I move it, uh, I create a task here in progress in this column. Uh, I manage everything up through hosting the session in that column. Uh, and then once the session is over, so in this case, 10 minutes from now, I move that task over to the session ended column. There's a lot of work that I have to do to wrap things up before webinar is officially completed, even though the session is ended. So I leave the task there until it's fully complete. And then you can see all of the completed webinars here. So again, I am managing this myself for the most part, but I do have a form in place where if one of my colleagues would like to request a webinar about a specific topic, they can fill out this form. It just asks for their name, the topic, if there's a time frame, if it's time sensitive, and anything else that might be useful for me. And this also makes it easy for me to get in touch if I have any questions from them. I have integrated this with Asana uh, so that this automatically adds a task to my Asana board. So this is that first piece of the integration with Asana that I mentioned where I'm pushing data out of JotForm. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like to add that in at this point. So anytime you want to integrate a separate tool with an individual form, you'll go into the settings for that form and integrations, and then you can just type in what you're looking for. So here we have Asana. Then you're just going to follow the prompts to authenticate and pair the two together. So pair Asana and JotForm in this case. This may involve a few more steps if you've never done this before. In my case, I'll just click this button and that integration is in place. If you have any questions as you're going through it, again, there are prompts there to guide you through the process, but uh, you can always reach out to our support team for any questions as well. So at this point, I have paired the two. So Asana and JotForm are integrated. The next piece is that I'll need to tell Asana what to do with this information. 
So in my case, I want to create a task each time somebody fills out this form. And then I'm going to tell it where to put the task. So on our job form workspace, on our comms team, I'm on the communications team. And finally, on my webinars project board, the last step here will be telling it what to name the task, and it's automatically choosing the topic field from this form. But if I wanted to change that, I can choose from any field from within the form. In this case, that makes the most sense. So I'll click complete integration, finish, and now that integration is set up. So at this point, if one of my colleagues does want to request a webinar, that will add a task in Asana. So let's say my colleague, Allie, our partnerships manager, wants a webinar about our new Asana integration. She could fill this out. The topic is Asana integration webinar. The general time frame is around the new release. And she wants to remind me that a, um, another colleague, Luke, has written a great blog post about this. Uh, so that'll be a good starting point for me. So she wanted to remind me of that. So I submit, Allie submits that. And now when I go back to Asana, maybe you saw that happen uh, in real time there. In my in progress column, that Asana integration webinar task has now been added. I can add any subtasks and move it through the pipeline from there. So that summarizes the first piece of the integration. Again, that's the piece where I'm pushing data from JotForm into Asana. It can look a couple of different ways, but that's how I'm using it in this case. Uh, that piece is not going anywhere. So I'm talking about these two different pieces of an Asana integration here. I wanted to mention that those function independently of each other. So if this piece is something that's really useful to you, that's not changing. It's not going anywhere. You can keep using it and you can keep using it independently of the second piece, which I'm about to show you. So for the second piece, let's imagine here we are five, 10 minutes down the road and this session is over. I'm going to move this task to my session ended column and do all my you know, wrap up from the webinar. One of the things that I do when I wrap up a webinar is to track a particular metric for the webinar. So I have a webinar metrics form that I fill out for that. I do this in JOT form so that all of this data from all of the webinars gets maintained in tables. So every time I wanna to look to make sure that I'm keeping my snack break webinars to 15 minutes or less, I can go into tables, see the length of the session, make sure I'm on track, create reports from that, whatever I need to do. Also, if I decided to make this form longer at any point, tables would also start tracking the additional fields as well. So this is just one of the things I do for wrap up. Um, and for this new piece of the integration, I wanna show you how I can pull this into Asana. In this case, again, you'll have to first pair Asana and JotForm. So for this, I'm going to do that by looking for customize in the upper right hand corner here. Um, hopefully I've moved my video here so that it's not blocking that. But if it is, what you're looking for is in the upper right hand corner, there's a little button that says customize and has a couple of colored blocks. You'll just click on that and that opens the menu that you see here. On the left hand sidebar, you'll look for apps and then you'll look for this uh, space here where it says add app and just click that. And JotForm is right at the top here, so super easy to find. I will click JotForm, and again, just like in the first step there, I'm first just going to pair JotForm and Asana. So I'll follow the prompts here, connect to JotForm. Got it. And now JotForm is added to my workspace here, and I will have the ability to add a form to any of my tasks here. Now also under a still on this menu here under apps that job form appears and you can see there's a little edit button here or a little pencil. So if I needed to remove this integration, I can click that and hit remove from project and that will remove it from the entire board. This pop up is also really nice because it does a really nice job of outlining exactly what this integration is doing in a pretty clean and succinct way. Um, I mentioned that because as I add this integration. Uh, it may not look like much. It's so seamless that I, I think anyway that it's so seamless that it just doesn't really look like it's doing much. But in reality, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You know, I can add a form. I can assign a form. I can track progress of the form. And again, all of this is happening in Asana where I'm already tracking progress on whatever my task is. So it does make things a lot cleaner. The examples I'm showing you here are really just scratching the surface. So if you extrapolate this and you think of you know multiple projects that you work on with multiple stakeholders, you can see that this could really save you a lot of time and effort. All right, so I will close that. And now I'm going to go back into my Asana integration webinar task. 
And now you can see that that assign form option has been added. So from here, I can click to assign whatever form I need, and I'm going to go ahead and add in that webinar metrics form. I could assign this to anyone. For example, if I'm going to be out of the office next week, I could ask my colleague Annabelle to fill this out on my behalf. But I do want to show you what it looks like when I receive the assigned form. So I'm going to send this to myself at this point. Uh, I can add a message and I can also change permissions. So if you are assigning this to somebody else, you have those options there as well to add a little bit of clarifying information. Then I'll just hit assign form. And uh, now you can see that that form has been added to the task. You can see who it's been assigned to. So it has my name there. You can see the status and you can see when it was assigned. And these will update as that form is filled out. Also, Asana uh, tracks any progress on your task at the bottom of the, the uh, task here. So you do also see that webinar metrics form attached to the task at this point. So now, since I sent that to myself, I assigned that to myself, I should see an email about it. In my email, you can click on that view form. This is exactly what it looks like if I were to assign this from JotForm, but it's saving me the effort of having to switch back and forth between JotForm and Asana, Asana, assign something from JotForm, then come back and paste a link into Asana. For example, again, all of this is happening from within Asana. Anybody can click on that, you know, anybody who's assigned can click on that link, whether or not they're a JotForm user. Now, at this point, I can fill this out for this webinar, the metrics and the date, and hopefully we're keeping this to 15 minutes and submit. Now, when I go back into Asana and refresh, we should see that task appear as complete with the time that it was completed. So you see all of that there. And again, I could click into this at this point to go directly into JotForm and see any additional information I need to see about this task. Again, I don't need to separately log into JotForm and go back and forth between the two to do this. And all of the information related to this form is now here. I can respond to it. I can comment on it, whatever I need to do from there. All right, so that summarizes the second integration. So just to briefly recap, I showed you first how to push data from JotForm into Asana. And our second new piece of the integration here is pulling JotForm into Asana for task management as well. That summarizes everything I wanted to show you here today. If you have any questions about this, either now or you know, half hour from now as you go back to your desk and start playing around with this, I would be happy to answer your questions or refer you to somebody on the team who can answer them maybe a little bit better than I can or a support team. So please feel free to get in touch with me about that. I'm Morgan at JotForm.com, M-O-R-G-A-N at JotForm. Unfortunately, since these are shorter webinars, I don't have time to do Q&A right now, but I will happily follow up with you very shortly. Uh, also, I would love to hear from you if you have use cases about either of these integrations or both of these integrations, or if you just want to show off something creative you're doing with JotForm, I'd love to hear from you then too. I love hearing from uh, what users are doing with JotForm, so please feel free to drop me an email about that as well. The last thing I wanted to mention is that uh, if this type of session is helpful to you, we do have a number of new integrations that we are rolling out in the very new, near future. And uh, those will be highlighted in our upcoming newsletter next month, as well as a, uh, a number of links to upcoming additional Snack Break webinars that I'll be doing about those integrations as well. So we'll have a series of those throughout May that you can tune into. You'll see that in the webinar, or sorry, in the newsletter, and you can sign up from there. So hopefully I'll see you at one of the next sessions. And again, get in touch if you have questions or want to share examples and uh, have a great day.